Hello, 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 all you beautiful people out there in the world. This is your one and only singing, dancing DJ, Sandy K, coming at you right here from Stafford, Virginia. Had to go to the doctor yesterday. That's why my voice is hoarse and stuff. But I'm going to be okay. And I got to make you laugh, so I got to tell you some stories. Later on, when my grandson gets up, I'll, I will do another video of just songs, and he, well, Mr. Anonymous is going to film for me, and it's just going to be children's songs for, uh, especially going out to a Marine that we met at Target and his family, and I sang him a song I was working on, and I'm pretty much finished with it. Well, not really. You never finish with it. <laughs> you can always sing to something. But um, they liked it. And the little boy says, you should sing that everywhere and every time. And I go, well, thank you, sweetie. I'll put it on YouTube when y'all can download it. And Daddy looked at me kind of strange, you know. I said, oh, don't worry, sir. I said, my, my, my YouTube channel is definitely not vulgar. I don't really care for that. I said, I write gospel songs. And I write children's songs. And I write crazy songs and I said I just write and I said thank you you know for your service and thank you for letting me entertain your children and as I left I said uh, thank y'all for letting me torture with my singing just a little bit torture you know like sing too much and people shut up heard that a lot in my life you can't cartoon in a bucket of water Oh, yeah, you can't do this, you can't do that. Don't tell me I can't do something, because dad blame me, I'll do it or kill myself, more than likely. You can't walk to North Carolina. Watch me. I made it as far as Riley. <laughs> With the help of my son, thank God, I didn't have to walk all the way. I walked to Richmond, though. I mean, I caught one ride from a lady, but uh, she drove me into the bus station. God bless her heart. Some guy from Salvation Army uh, picked me up and gave me a ride, and I wrote a poem, sent it to him, to the fire station, I think. They probably tore it up and threw it in the trash, but <laughs> it meant something to me. Anyway, some funny stories. Now, I told some stories on my other YouTube channel, and I feel like these stories are funny as all get out, and they teach you lessons, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in the, they teach you lessons about life and stuff, so. So, um, this story was about karma. You know, karma. Tit for tat, yin for yang. You know, go ahead and do your thing. And if it does bad to somebody else, it's going to come back on you. That kind of karma. So, <laughs> I had an older sister. Now, she was kind of a, well, she picked on me a lot. You know, two birds in my hair. Ugh. Those big birds yet you can't get out. And um, she just picked on me a lot. And she coming up the hill. And every time we made a grapevine swing, she, she'd take it. So we, me and Ronnie had climbed the big old tree. Because it took two of us. One had to climb the tree and hold the grapevine still while you cut it. You know, to the length you wanted it. And so we cut this big old grapevine swing. And it could swing out over that mountain. So fun. Way out there. You know, and we was having fun, me, long, me, my sister, my baby sister, and my nephew. We heard her coming up in the mountains. Now, my baby sister, she was kind of timid. She wouldn't do nothing, you know. she just stand there. She wasn't in on that. She, I ain't in on this. No, Mommy's going to whip us. I ain't in on this. <laughs> Mommy didn't have to whip us. We didn't tell her, but uh, I tell you what, that karma whipped us. Sure enough, sure did. We cut that swing about halfway, and they, we thought since she's bigger than we are and heavier than we are, it would just break, and she'd just sit down on the ground. Well, it didn't break. She swung out there, and she, as usual, my turn. We know. We're going, why did it break? Why did it break? <laughs> swung back again, and out she goes again real high. My turn. We know. That's really plumb crazy. I mean, that should have broke by now. 
And then she swung out again. And she swung about halfway back. So when she fell, she didn't get hurt. <laughs> but we did. Sure enough. See, yellow jackets now. Some people don't know this, but yellow jackets, they make their... They make their nest in the, in the ground. And when you land on that nest, which is what she did, the yellow jackets go like this. And they go all over the place. Everywhere except who landed on it. And so, here's me and Loma and Paul. Paul, my sister Loma. I hope she don't mind me saying her name. We can edit it out. I'm going to put it on her anyway. Heck, truth is truth. <laughs> She was a smacking them bees, and I felt so bad. Oh, my God. Ronnie is smacking them bees, and I got stung so many damn blame times. I didn't know. I said, oh, my God. I'm allergic to bee stings. I hope I don't die. hope I don't die. <laughs> but it wasn't yellow jacks I was allergic to. It was honeybees stings. And so I didn't get sick, and we made it out of mountain. We got stung, and Mommy had to come home and doctor the stings. But she, What'd you do, Kate? We got a new yellow jacket's nest, Mom. It's, no, you had to do something, Kate. She knew me pretty well. Ronnie Ronnie knew, too, but he didn't say a word. Pete knew she didn't say a word. Because when we tell Mommy stuff we done, she whip us. And we didn't like our whipping, so we just say, well, let's keep this to ourselves. It's, it's better that way. But God bless her heart. I love my mommy. Miss her. Miss my daddy. Miss my sister Lassie. Today's her birthday. So I wanted to say happy birthday. My beautiful sister Lassie. You were so beautiful when you walked into Grundy for that job with the Sparkses. You were the most beautiful woman walking down them streets. And you turned every head in Grundy. And them Grundy ladies didn't like it. You ended up marrying one of them Grundy boys, didn't you? I loved Aunt Elfair. I was supposed to call her Aunt Elfair, but we sneak up the hill. She gave us biscuits with sausage in it. She was the best cook. Oh my God, the gardens they raised. She. Can them green beans, and every time you go up there and she give you a can of green beans, take it home with you. Take down with us. We we weren't allowed to go up there because of the snakes, you know, but uh, we sneak up there anyway, and we go, we can't take them. <laughs> we get whipped for going up there, so we couldn't take them. Lassie, I miss you, and I go out and sing, and when I sing, that little waver that used to be in your voice that just Pull, pull chills on my arm. Well, it's not there all the time, and I can't put it there when I want it there. But when I feel your presence in my heart, in my soul, when I feel your presence take control, then I sing. And there's a little, the little wavering, I called it. I don't know what it's called. But you could only do it. You, Nuvon Bailey, could do it. She was a beautiful singer. Wanda's a singer. Cousins all sang. Had one cousin, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> he was an Elvis Presley impersonator. Had an album out. He was good. He married a rich girl in Nashville, a professor at a college, and learned something. Thank God. But at every funeral, I do not handle it well, and I embarrass me and my whole family when I go talk to him and his beautiful wife. So, Lassie always fussed at me over that. So many people at her funeral was so happy everybody came. I, I could use every little hugs they gave me. And thank my family, my nieces, ne ne nephews who stood by me there and helped me. My kids were working. They couldn't come. They have families. They have to support. Me, I would always take off work and go, and they didn't like it. They said, Mommies, you have to raise your kids too, and I did. God knows I did. I tried the best I could. I did what I could. Sometimes I'm a little 
Sometimes I need a little bit of counseling, so I do. I get counseling from a pastor somewhere. And a counselor, if they accept Medicare, but they don't. So, hello, pastor, I love you. <laughs> All right, give a donation to the church to help you out. Well, I think maybe this is 10, 23 long. I know y'all been bored by now, and you probably gone. But maybe somebody out there that just shoot, tunes it in when they're missing somebody. Hopefully, that little story make you laugh, make your day feel a little bit better. I'm going to try to laugh some today, but I don't know if I can laugh much today. I don't. I don't know if I can laugh much today. I haven't been down home since, since she passed away. I've been to Western Kentucky since she passed away, but I haven't been to East, East Kentucky, down near Virginia border, you know, down Bristol, Tennessee area, that area, Coburn, Virginia, Pound, Virginia, yeah. Well, <laughs> this is the one and only singing dancing DJ, Sandy Kay, signing off right here from Stafford, Virginia. Peace, love to you all.